Hey, what's up guys? So, uh, for this video right now, uh, I'm gonna show you how to, uh, render PFPs for Gorilla Tag. So, this shouldn't take too long. Just pay close attention to everything I do, and you should be rendering your PFP after this video. So, what you wanna do first, look up, uh, Blender on Google. Click the first link, and then just click download Blender. I've already downloaded it, so I don't need to. And then just open it from there, follow the instructions, follow all of the instructions that it says, and you should be good. So from there, sorry, and then from there, so you're going to want to come to Gorilla Tag Files on my server, which you're already there because you're watching this video. Uh, and you want to, okay, so you click Gorilla Tag Stuff Fixed, that zip, download this, continue to download. Sorry if I sound like congested, I'm, I just got beat. I just got done being sick. Uh, see, down here, you have the zip. Uh, click show in folder. I've already downloaded it many times for some reason. You want to right click it. Click extract all right here. And then just click extract. And then you should be good. So then, I'm, I'm just not going to click it because I've already downloaded it. And then if you want the G tag, like the Gorilla Tech map, for your background, you're going to have to download these two things. Uh, just let me know if you guys want a tutorial on that. I might put it at the end of this video. Uh, I don't know. Who knows? So, from there, uh, if you have Blender downloaded and Gorilla Tech Stuff Fix downloaded, you should be good for the beginning part of this. So, you want to open Blender. Click Open. Click Downloads. Gorilla Tech Stuff Fixed. Gorilla Tech Stuff uh, and then you want to click Blender Project, Grill Tech Blend, and then it should open. So for me, I already had this downloaded and accidentally saved something, so it's automatically like that. But, uh, yeah, so when you guys load in, it's going to be all like weird like this without any color. But to fix that, you just up in the top right corner, there should be these like three circles. So for the rendered version, you can click this. But for the this version, I, rec I, reckon, you, I recommend you clicking because uh, it runs a little better like that. Um, so yeah, that's the first part to get your gorilla in here. And then to change the color, because it's going to be blue for you guys, come to shading up at the top. Click your, click like the actual monkey. And then down here, there should be a little bar. And then you can just change the color just like that. So I'll go pink. Um, okay, so that's how to change the color, that's how to do that. Okay, now to add cosmetics. So, to add cosmetics, you want to click File. These are just like the basic cosmetics that the game has. There's no holdables in this, uh, in this file. But you want to click Grill Tech Stuff Fix, Grill Tech Stuff, Hats, click Hats, right here. And then it has all of these. So say we want to do the baseball cap. Actually, I'll do banana hat. So it's going to be pink. They're all going to be pink. Uh, I don't know why. It's weird. But to fix this, you want to go to shading. Click the banana again. Make sure it's clicked. Come to this little file right here. Uh, and then you want to click downloads, uh, grill tech stuff, boom, and then textures, and then click hatlass.png. Open it and it should fix the color thing. So that's that. It's how to add cosmetics. Um, and if you want to add, like, oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you. Uh, so to move around like this, you're going to notice that right clicking doesn't work and that normal clicking doesn't work. So you want to click your middle mouse button and just basically just move your mouse like you would. Um, but if you don't want to do that, you can use this little thing up at the top. It's like X, Y, and Z. You can just move it up at the top right. Uh, but yeah, that's that. So next, if you want to add like other things that aren't uh, in that file, in the Gorilla Tag file, go back to the Discord. Go to uh, Gorilla Tag Stuff Dropbox. Open it. Uh, open Cosmetics. FBX Files. And then go down to handheld items right here. 
and then these are all the handheld items. So you can just download that. I already have it downloaded. And then you can just X out, come back, click File, Import, FBX. Okay, go to Downloads, and then there should be a thing, Handheld Items, and then you can choose. So I'll do Turkey Leg. And it's going to be back here, so to fix that, and it's also pink. But to fix that, you're going to want to uh, just make sure it's clicked, like that. And then over on the left here, there's going to be things to move it. So I'll do the bottom one. So you just click it. Boom. Up, down. You can move it around with these things like that. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, yeah, that's how to get like handheld items. And to change this, it's going to be a little different. So you want to click it. Same kind of thing. Click the file. Downloads. And you're going to have to use use this if highlight doesn't work. But you're not going to have that downloaded. So to go download that, you want to click back to Discord. Go to like stuff. Okay. And then you want to go to cosmetics, hat textures, and then just click download up at the top. Okay. And then it, it's going to download all these things. So go back to here. And then just click that and then open image. And that should fix that problem okay and uh you're gonna notice that there's no like rosy cheeks or beanies or anything in the normal grill tag files if you want that just message me what you want and i'll put it in uh community files uh right here okay uh so that's that okay now this is how to move the actual uh monkey so you're gonna want to Oh wait, sorry. First, we want to do, uh, just so you know, like you might have caught this already, but moving the head, the hat's not going to stay with it. So if you want to change that, sorry, go back to like normal cursor mode, you're going to want to click the hat up here and then shift and click the armature thing. And then you're going to click control P or sorry, sorry, not control P, uh, like this. Command P, or sorry, yeah, Control P, my bad. Uh, and then click with automatic weights right down here. And then to move it, you have to click the armature, like the bones, and then click up or object mode, pose mode, and then click on whichever bone you want to move, like this. Uh, and then you want to click R on your keyboard, and then that'll make you move it side to side like that. But if you want to move it like 360, you want to click R, click it one more time, and then you can move it 360, however you want. And then just to show you, that's the banana hat stays. Uh, so yeah, that's basically how to move it and do that. Uh, yeah. Okay, now this is how to kind of render if you want a PFP, like mine is. So what we want to do is you want to click this camera button up here, uh, up in the top left. You want to click it and then it'll bring you to the camera like this and then to move it around you want to click view navigation walk navigation and then just use WASD like you would in a video game um just like this boom so you want up and then it'll go down okay and then to actually take to render it you want to click just like that and then on your keyboard press F12 and then it'll start rendering just like that um, but yeah, that's basically all the basics. If you guys have any more questions about Blender, just message me, and I will most likely be able to help you. If any, if you have any problems, just tell me. Um, but yeah. Alright, like I said, also, if you want anything that's not in the Gorilla Tag files already, then just, uh, message me on, like, Gorilla Tag files help or, you know, whatever, Blender help, Blender if you. Okay. So that's basically it. Yeah, thanks for watching.